Alright, Aaron and I are going to go for a little bit of a walk. Um, tried to rest myself as much as possible and finished up my Shadow Priest upon leveling to 60, or not necessarily leveling to 60, that happened halfway through Revendreth. I finished up the storyline for the first time since my main character. <laughs> Everyone else did that Paths of Fate thing. Some of them from near the end because I was tired of doing Revendreth without flying, and the other ones just straight from the beginning because I was like, meh. <laughs> it was run all the way up. Well, the, the idea with my warrior was the fact that she was going to run all the way up, run through uh, Maldraxxus, fall in love with the Necrolords, you know, threads of fate for the Necrolords and just pledge herself to it. <laughs> like, she didn't give the other ones a chance. <laughs> Which is totally on point. Yeah, so I'm working on getting, you know, stuff ready for tomorrow and whatnot. And, but I need to get out of the apartment and get fresh air and hear other people that exist in the world. <laughs> you know, it, it can help a bit. Of sorts. Yeah. Anyways, I was gonna grab a this baggie and take down the unrecyclable well, the, the smashables. The stock code. So we're walking through the thing here. Again, just out for a little walk. Um actually we'll probably walk out to the end of the island and circle back rather than just stay within the park anyways so we're we kind of walked around the padel uh, courts and we're just sort of talking to ourselves oh, where, where'd this wind come from what the hell and uh <sighs> but <That's> much better <laughs> yeah welcome to the netherlands anyways and Aaron's like, well, it looks like a smaller court than tennis. Yeah, but there, okay, so there was probably the married couple that was just sort of like, ha, 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 we're playing like small court tennis, ha, ha, ha. Like they were, you know, but then there was like the two young couples that were really into playing. Like there was the one guy, this is, like if you guys remember the when I walked through there, when there was nobody there and I touched it, it's basically, it signifies that it's grass, but it's mostly sand. <laughs> it's it's not a it's it's a weird. Anyways, so he like skids. This isn't that big of a thing, and he's skidding. You know, it's like you know, and he's skidding around in an area that's like the size of our living room. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. He's definitely trying to make it out to be bigger. And it's like, well, it seems smaller than that. I'm like, yeah, but it's also got like the glass walls like you'd expect from racquetball. But like the kind of people that will play it are the ones that are like, aha, poof, let's do the birdie with the badminton. And then, but it's got the low thing like tennis does. And you're like, is this? <laughs> but the racket is much shorter than tennis. And it's got like a cover on it to make it like padded. Yeah. <laughs> It's a very strange-looking sport if you're expecting tennis. It's a strange-looking sport. On top of... Uh, I was... On hedging. top of... <laughs> you're what? Hedging. Hedging? Uh, like hedging? Like oh. hedging my bets. Okay. I was going to say, it's a strange-looking sport. On top of that, if you're expecting tennis, it's even worse. That's where my brain was going. <laughs> it's like watching hurling or Gaelic football. You're like, oh, that's a really big thing. And they kind of use their feet for football, but they occasionally will bounce it off their foot while they're carrying it. And that counts as dribbling. <laughs> um, and then you've got like, that's the thing is they'll run forward and they'll throw the ball down on their foot and kick it back up into their hand. And they can kick it into the net or they can throw it into the net. And <laughs> I'm not like, it's like take handball, soccer and rugby. 
because they can only ever pass backwards or something like that. A mic and combine those all into one sport. And that's what Gaelic football is. And you know, let's not even get into hurling, which is like field hockey plus baseball plus lacrosse. <laughs> like you just throw the ball up and you just whole ass smack it like a baseball, but it looks like a hockey stick and you can check people with your stick like you can in lacrosse. Speaking of weird sports, they're probably just having a general sports day, but it looks like they have the Zorbs over there. Oh. Those little in, in, inflated things that you yeah. run up and bump each other in. <laughs> it's weird. Getting out and about. I don't know what we're doing for dinner. Probably something, probably pasta, which means we, which means we probably should swing by and get garlic bread. And I want something tasty to drink. <laughs> yeah. Not beer, but I could always get like a soda, you know, something. I gotta figure out the thing for tonight. I gotta figure out, like, tonight, how we're getting to Lelystadt and where everything's at. Because apparently, we're still at the field. It's not, it has not rained enough. It would have to downpour tonight for that to happen. <laughs> but, but, anyways. So the young couple got out of the padel court. But, see, this is normal soccer field stuff. You can see where it's like, it's just, Plasty grass. <laughs> and then here, we've got a tonk court. I don't know what it's called, area. And then, and then, yeah, as you guys can see in here, we don't actually need to go in, it's right here. Oh. See, it's like green gravel. Yeah. So it's like, I understand why he was skidding around, but it also was a bit excessive. Yeah. And again, with part of the issue is like, you look back there in between like the two areas and there's just like non-uniform stuff. And like, even this is like, look at all the holes and like the dead plant. And you're like, but that's, that's nature. Yeah. The more, the thing is, is if this was an anomaly amongst Amsterdam, I would be a bit disturbed I'd be like ooh, ooh you know <laughs> why does it why does it look so trashy but it's not they tend to leave things a bit more natural and unkempt yeah. actually let's not say natural and unkempt let's say not hyper manicured yeah they don't manicure their wounds they oh but they they definitely manicure lines. they well they definitely manicure things they don't hyper manicure it yeah um, they'll let, you know, the weeds grow around the thing. We've been here for a year. Here, hold the bag. There's like nothing in it. See what goes on here? What? Oh, you're on auto lock, aren't you? Stop, stop. It's probably because I was cleaning it earlier. <laughs> Although it is stuck to my jo jog pants. <laughs> Hey, you too? Mm -hmm. You too, Aaron? Yeah. All right. Do be careful. It does sink a little low, but you're probably not gonna. Yeah. I, I was thinking about standing on. No, it. I wouldn't. I'm too tall. Just and hold your legs up as much as possible. That's, that's it. <laughs> that, that's it. Oh, I want to show you this new thing. We're just out exploring. It's just a lazy vlog. It's pre... What do you do on the day before a game? You don't do anything active. You don't... At least I don't try to do anything that'll get myself in trouble. I won't do anything 
You know, it's just a rest day. I'm going to be exerting enough energy tomorrow. <laughs> but... Yeah, see, this is also another playground. But it's been here for a thing. So, we have this little guy. And then you can... Like, th this whole thing you can play the floor is lava on pretty well. Pretty well. And there's a lot of kids in there, but... You can see how they put in that new bridge. Yeah. Over what? Like... <laughs> Over an imaginary river. Exactly. I don't know exactly where we can go to get down there. We'd have to go out and around, I guess? Or maybe we could walk down the left side, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not worried yeah. about that. But yeah, they're yeah, putting in... Nice. They're putting in another playground. <laughs> not only do they have a whole skate park back there, they got a playground right here. And they're putting in a playground right there. It's Playground Alley. 